Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. Here just to show some of you how easy it is to change a pulled chain light fixture in the basement. We're changing this because the pulled chain broke. Very common problem with the basement pulled chain fixture. Quick, easy, one minute job. Cheap, probably $4 for the fixture. So here we have an old fixture that has four screws, two whites and two brass or blacks. We happened to get a new light fixture, pull chain to change it, but we got one that only had one screw each. Well, we need wire nuts and the ability to pigtail to use this fixture. So what we did is we went out and bought another pull chain fixture with four screws. This is, we've already obviously killed the power, I'd be jumping around that you see these screws so these screws are silver or white metal so white metal to white wires these screws are brass black to brass so the black wire comes in the two screws are acting as a jumper and the black wire can go somewhere else in this house same thing with the white so you don't put two different colors under one screw in a typical pull chain operation it's white to white black to brass so what we do, we just take it apart and we put the new one in. Mind you, we have disconnected electricity before we started this project. So now to put the new fixture back on, take and we put the loop to the screw. The white wire goes to the silver or white metal screw and the loop is going the direction that when I tighten the screw, it secures the wire around the screw. So these two white screws are the same. They're in the same metal bracket. So it doesn't matter which one I use. This is one of the most common mistakes people make when tightening a wire around a screw. So if you put the hook on backwards, it will loosen. Tighten it extra tight. And the wire's been around. We also have the advantage of full contact. The wire and the metal aren't hitting just with a little bit. They're hitting for a lot. We fold the wires. So when you put the wires in, there's supposed to be six inches of D-shielded wire in a box, which makes it good to go three and three inches so that when we fold the wires and put the device up like that, everything fits without cramming it. So there you have it. Quick, easy, one minute job. Cheap, probably $4 for the fixture. When the pull chain goes bad, you can change it yourself. Quick tip from MrHardware.com.